We're back with another edition of Candle Pin for Kids 2010. Uh, it's going to be a great day, a great series. We've got some great, great bowlers with us. And I have a, a great bowler standing next to me, a Hall of Famer, and he's going to be my co-host today, Dan the Man Murphy. <laughs> Dan, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. I can't believe uh, all the things you've done for this game. You're here today, two hours away from your home uh, for the kids. What, what, three hours, even longer. What haven't you done in this game? Uh, a Hall of Fame Candlepin Bowler. We talked about it last week, how you had one of the most legendary matches against Tom Ulster on Channel 5. Uh, you've had a, a very special career. Uh, we can't thank you enough for being here well, today. Well, thank you. All I had to do is bribe my wife. I'll take you out to dinner. <laughs> but before, before we do, we have to go down and tape a few shows. That's all. That's all. That's all. I see Cheryl back there. It was <laughs> nice of her to come down. Maybe we could get her to do some statistician work like the old days. <laughs> Cheryl was a part of the Big Shot Bowling that's Show right. with Bob that's right. Uh Dan, you and I will call the shots. Can't wait. Uh, let's introduce the real stars today, Absolutely. Shall we? Here we go. Let's hear it for the ballers. All right, our top seeds today, rolling a 305 from the Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts, we have Colleen Dumas. And her partner today, from the Fun Time Lanes in Holyoke, Mass, rolling a 336, we have Stash Provost. Their challenges today, rolling a 298 from the Fecals Bolodrome in Franklin, Massachusetts, Mackenzie Easterbrooks. And her partner today, from the uh, 20th Century Lanes in Hyde Park, Mass, we have Anthony Delmonico. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have the boys take a seat. And Dan and I will sit down here and get ready. And the girls are going to lead us off with Colleen Dumas throwing out the first ball. Here we go, Dan. Oh. It would be easy to talk to you because my other host is named Dan, so this makes it pretty easy for me. <laughs> I don't want any of his nicknames, though. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know about that, Dan. <laughs> All right, our girls are looking for a spear here, and, and our, we're in our final ball. Colleen Dumas with a little tough start there, Dan, uh, only taking a three. Mackenzie ended up with a nine. A solid nine by Miss Easterbrooks. Mackenzie's uh, dad's a pretty famous bowler, Dan. Uh, yes. I think you've uh, seen him on uh, your shows I in the have. past. I have. In fact, he was one of the ones in the Challengers match. I think he threw like a 165 and lost. That's It was incredible. That match. is incredible. That's amazing. Do you know who he lost to, Dan? Uh, I can't remember, but I bet you he knows. <laughs> I'm sure he, that's one he won't forget. Oh, nice try by Colleen. Our uh, girl's still looking for their first mark. Let's see here. Colleen qualified for today's show on games of 95, 115, and a 95 in her final game for a 305 total. 305. Excellent bowling. And Mackenzie qualified. Yes, 89 and a slow start. And then she came on strong with a 109 and a 100 for 298. Some great bowling by our ladies today. We're uh, taping here at the Woburn Bowlerdrome in Woburn, Massachusetts. This is the 12 to 14 age group. Uh, next week we'll be back with our final age group, the 15 to 18 age group, and that'll be our final chance for a team to make our championship nice show spare by McKenzie. at the end of May. There's our first mark, Dan. Diamond leave. Excellent. They spare say the diamond's a girl's best friend, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> That they are, Steve, and let's watch again as Mackenzie proves that she is the queen of diamonds. <laughs> All right, it's starting to heat up a little, Dan. So the winner of each of your taping sessions meets at the end of the season for a final uh, championship show? That is correct, Dan. We'll have th uh, three teams that'll be competing. 
and we have some really nice uh, fifty dollar trophies that one of our sponsors uh, has donated to the show. Great, great. We've had a lot of good people help out with our show, and uh, that's why we're still here seven years into it. You do a fantastic job, all of the. I know you're all volunteers, but you love the sport, and that's why you do it. And we try uh, to copy some uh, some of the things you've done, and and uh, pick up on the try to pick up on some of the things that you and other commentators have done, and and just try to put together a little fun thing here for the kids. Okay, at the end of four frames, it's 38 to 26 in favor of Easter Brooks and Delmonico. This is the final frame for the girls, and their partners, the boys, will come up and finish the game out. It's a uh, two game uh, with total pinfall determining our winner. Ooh, Kenzie tried to play that wood in front of that six pin and just missed converting that for a spare. Not an easy shot. Uh, nice terrific by Colleen out. Dumas. Terrific out by Colleen. And a solid nine for McKenzie. So at the half, it's 36-47 in favor of Easterbrooks and Delmonico. And Anthony Delmonico is going to lead us off in the second half. And he'll be taking on Stash Provost from the fun time lanes in Holyoke, Massachusetts. You don't get any extra pins for coming the farthest, huh? No, uh, it's nice to see uh, Stash from, uh, we Holyoke. don't get too many bowlers from Holyoke. Oh yeah, bowl of so it, was, uh, it was great to see some of them come in today. And converts that for a spare. Great start for first time on the show. <laughs> nice ball. Clean it up. All right, Stash Provost starting out with the spare at 46 and a bonus ball through six frames. And Anthony Delmonico with an eight at 55. And this is the fill on the spare. We got away from on to the right that time. Just got three on the spare. And the match is only six pins. At the end of this string, we'll come back with the with the segment Smoke the Shoe, where Dan Gothia gives some of his money away. Hopefully he'll give lots of his money away. Oh, come on. Get down. Anthony Delmonico. Oh. Nice took a little nice while. Dan. For terrific spare. Took a little while. I thought it was, should have gone a little quicker than it did. Likewise, Dan. But I think as long as that seven does fall, Anthony won't care how long it takes. Easter Brooks and Delmonico looking to take the lead. I'm going to say, uh, excuse me, add to their lead. Oh, just two, make it three, four. Got a couple extra ones there. Look like a half whister left at first. Yeah, got a couple extra bonus pins and uh, maybe a little bit, it might be a little easier of a shot to make. Still tough. Uh, chops out one more pin on the right side. Both boys will be looking for a big out. And we have a six for Provost. And just a five. And a five for Delmonico. So at the end of eight frames, it's 62 to 74. Let's see here. We got some fun facts on our bowlers. Uh, Stash uh, Provost. Uh, I was looking to see if he had a favorite bowler, but uh, he, he doesn't have anything here. But he oh, does terrific. love basketball. Oh, that was a great ball there, Dan. Oh, nine pin drops, solid. Leaves just that four pin. And Anthony Delmonico is a big baseball fan, loves, uh, loves to play baseball in his spare time. Let's see if he can uh, pick this single pin here. Got Good it. form. Got Excellent it. form on that shot, Dan. He looked like he did everything right. Yep. Kept his shoulders square to the target each time. He stayed very balanced yep. up there. You see some people, when they throw the ball, that I, ca I call them, they get crazy legs. <laughs> They're all over the place. They, and I try to tell them, you got to stay balanced. That's right. Stay balanced. Keep the shoulders square to your target. All right, we're in our 10th and final frame of the first game. A nice head pin hit by Provost. This time he does get a half whistle on the right side. 
So he's determined to keep it close. <laughs> 15 pin advantage so far. It's only a two mark difference, Dan. Yeah. Oh. A double half whister. I remember a young man bowling on a TV show that went spare half whister, spare half whister. Uh, you're you're being kind. It was worse than that. <laughs> it was. You know who I'm talking about? Yes. Then. It was spare one, and I converted oh, it right. and came back with another spare one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd remember that. <laughs> All right, our boys have finished up. Uh, Delmonico uh, taking an 8 in that final frame for a 94. Provost a 7 for 78. We got a 16 pin difference in the match. Still a very close match. We're going to go to break and we're going to come back with the Smoke the Shoe segment. So don't go away.